Hey, your friends, today are going to draw a panda. Yeah, except with a unicorn horn, mm -hmm. a panda corn. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. Do you have your marker? Yes. And you also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our panda's nose. I'm going to draw the letter V right in the middle of our paper. Then we could draw the top of our panda's nose. Looks like an upside down triangle. And we could also color in that shape. And then let's also draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a curve that comes out of the bottom of the nose and curls to the left, and also a U shape that curls to the right. OK, now let's draw the eyes. And we're going to draw them kind of far away from the nose so that we have room for the spot. So let's first draw a circle about this big and another circle on the other side the same size. Yeah. There you go. And let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye for the highlight to make the eyes look shiny. And cute. Yes. OK, now let's color in that big circle, but leave the little circle white. You're adding eyelashes too. I <laughs> love it. It looks really cute. Although when we add the spot, maybe those will disappear. Oh yeah. That's okay though. All right, let's keep going. Let's draw the shape of our panda's head next. We're going to start over here and we're going to draw an upside down U. So we're going to start on the left side of the eye. We're going to come up, over, and down on the right side. Yes. <laughs> Now let's draw the bottom of our panda's head. I'm going to turn my paper a little sideways so that it's easier to draw. We're going to draw the cheek over here. We're going to come under and draw another cheek over on the right side. And it's also kind of flat underneath the chin. Yeah, just like that. Now let's draw the ears. I'm going to draw a upside down U shape. It kind of looks like a circle or part of a circle on the left side and also that same shape over here on the right side. Nice. Now let's also draw the spot around each of the eyes. But first, let's draw another circle that goes really close to the eye that we've already drawn. That will leave a white border around the eye so it's easier to see the eye when we color in the spot. OK, let's do that same circle over on the right side. Go around and connect. Now let's draw the spot. We're going to draw another bigger oval that goes around each eye. So I'm going to start here on the cheek. We're going to come around like this and curve back into the cheek. <laughs> That's really cute. OK, let's do the same spot on the other eye all the way around and connect to the cheek. Oh, it's so cute. It's really cute. We'll color those in later. Let's draw the body next. We're going to draw a U shape. We'll start here. I'm going to draw a U shape that comes down, over, and then back up. There you go. Now let's draw the arms. We're going to start here and draw a U shape that comes down, around, and then we'll connect back to the outside of the U shape. Looks like a really tall, skinny U. And then we can do another shape just like that, but on the other side for the other arm. Let's also connect these two arms with kind of an upside down U shape that connects like that. We're going to color in the shape, the arms, and also in between the arms, black. OK, now let's draw the legs sticking out to the side. I'm going to draw a straight line coming out to the left and also straight out to the right. Then we're going to curve up like this, around, and then connect back into the body. <laughs> There you go. And then we could do the same thing on the right side. Curve up, around, and back into the body. Let's also draw the bottom of our panda's foot. I'm going to draw an oval shape on the left and also the same size oval on the right. My right foot is a little bit bigger than my left foot. 
<laughs> That's okay, right? Yeah. We're practicing. Okay, it just looks like a panda. What are we missing? The unicorn horn. Yeah, we're <laughs> missing the horn sticking out. Let's draw a upside down V. I'm gonna curve up at the top so it's not a sharp V. It's a, it's a friendly a one. Friendly yeah. Bead. It's not dangerous. <laughs> there you go. And then back down. Oh, that's really cute. We can also draw little diagonal lines that come across all the way up. We should make our panda corns a little more mythical. What should we add? Wings. Definitely. Let's start over here and draw a curve that kind of follows the cheek. We're coming out to the left. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the right. We're going to follow the cheek coming up to the right. There you go. And one, I like how big we're drawing the wings. Now let's draw the feathers coming back down. Now you have less room right here, so you could draw the feathers coming into the foot. I'm gonna draw yous that are connected together like this. And yeah, I'm gonna connect into the foot also. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna draw another feather coming down and then connected U-shapes into the foot. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, it's really cute. I'm gonna add another row of feathers inside of the wing. If you want to, you could leave this off or add it. I'm gonna draw more feathers on this side too. Hello, we did it. We finished drawing our panda corn, except we still need to- Color it. Yes, my favorite part. And we can't forget to color the spots. Yeah. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match our same color. You could also color your panda corns any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yes. and drawing our panda corns, and they turned out so cute. I especially love them all colored in. Yeah, me too. And we also added even more mythical magic, <laughs> like stars. <laughs> yeah, you could add even more mythical creatures. Oh yeah, in the background. You could also draw your little panda corn on a cloud floating in the sky. <laughs> We used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home, like colored pencils. Or even crayons. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your panda corn. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.